So we're using the fill tool, the gradient tool, color selector, transform tool, shape tool, and glow effect. So we're going to get started by setting up our project. I'm going to go to create new. And for this project, I'm going to do 10 inches by 10 inches. Make sure that you do have inches selected and not pixels or points. That will mess up um, some things that you're trying to do. You'll run into some issues there. So I'm going to click create. And this is my artboard. I'm going to go to view and rulers because I want to see my rulers that it's 10 inches by 10 inches and also just come up here and make sure that your workspace is in essentials classic I think it might the 2020 version might default to um, essentials you want to make sure that you're in essentials classic that way everyone is working with the same tools over here so if I go over here um, and select the rectangle tool I want to make sure that my stroke, if I hover over it, it says stroke, it says none, and then I'm going to double click on the fill tool, and I want my background to be black for this project, because I know my project is 10 inches by 10 inches, and my rectangle tool selected, I can just click it one time, and I... I already made one that's 10 inches by 10 inches. You can just go ahead and edit that to be 10 inches by 10 inches. So I'm going to use my select tool up here to drag that onto the background. And so now I've got a background. If I go over here to my layers panel and click the down arrow, you can see that rectangle I just created. So now I'm gonna make a planet by long pressing click and hold on the rectangle tool to pull up the ellipse tool and I'm going to change the color to blue and click and drag so you can create any kind of ellipse you want see my um, precursors are showing up there to tell me that's a perfect circle you can also click the shift key and it will make it a perfect circle if I want it to be perfect, which I do, I want it to be a geometric sphere, I'm going to let go of the mouse first, then the shift key. That way it doesn't get skewed in the process. When you're finished with that, you can um, go in here and you can resize it however you want it to be. And you can always click the shift key and it will go back to a perfect geometric sphere. Okay, so now that that is selected, we're gonna do a gradient on that. You can find the gradient here, or also in the window here. And remember, if you ever have any trouble finding a window, you can go up to window and manually pull it up. Okay? Oh, I <laughs> just took it off by selecting it. Okay, so I'm going to go here. You can do a linear gradient or a radial gradient. For this sphere, I'm gonna do a radial gradient. It shows up black and white. You can just double click this um, circle here and you can change the colors by clicking on color swatches. And I'm gonna do a blue. And then you can come over here and pick any color you'd like. And you can play with this as much as you want. You can play with the color selectors here, make it however you'd like it to be. And then you can also go to the shadows here, double click that, and change that as well to be any color you want it to be. Do a brighter teal. And then you can um, move these. Actually, I want this one to be much darker. I'll do a dark blue. Okay, so you can change this to be. Um, I switched my highlights and shadows, but you can make that more or less. Same thing over here, and then you can play with the midtones as well. So you can really make this however you want it to be. Um, don't think, oh yeah, you can't switch it. Okay, I want this. That's good, okay. Because next I'm gonna show you how to do a glow effect. So after you've got your planet and you have your gradient 
just how you would like it to be. And you can see my ellipse tool over here in the layers panel. You can use the select tool, click off of it, and say, okay, that's how I want that to be. So now I'm going to select that again and go up to effect and stylize, and you can give it an inner glow or outer glow. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an outer glow. And this is just the color that I had selected previously. You wanna make sure that the mode is in screen. And you can make this color in the background any color you'd like. So if I wanted to do a white color, you can do that. You can change the opacity, which is how transparent the glow is. And you can change the size of the blur. So you can make it really big, you can make it really small, and you can also manually enter whatever you want to get it an exact size. So I am going to make it really big and I am going to make it a blue color. See how that goes. I'm gonna make it 100%. Okay, so now I have one of my four planets and I have a glow effect around it. And you should also be able to see if you go to the layers, or I'm sorry, the properties panel, because I have this selected, I have the effect showing up here. If I were to click on the background and in the properties panel it's showing up, I don't have an effect on the background. But if I select the object I have an effect on, it'll show up here. So I can always double click that and go in and edit any of that stuff if I wanna change the way that it looks. And again, you should see that here. If you um, ever lose an object or something, it's probably how it's layered in the layers panel. So sometimes students have their object, it's, it's selected, you can see it, but you can't see it here. It's because it's beneath the rectangle. So you just click it and drag it up and then it'll be on top. And you can layer those however you want. So that is what we're doing with this project so far for today, just creating four planets using a color gradient and a glow effect. Then we'll work on the rest next time. All right, guys, have a good day.